first sign of Aquarius. Hello and welcome to my channel. So, Aquarius, for the present time, we got the Knight of Wands here and the Death card. Okay, so this Knight of Wands, it's showing in the picture that it's a great time for travel. But, as we all know, we can't just get up in the sky like that and fly freely. So, yeah, but that's what it's showing. It's a great time for travel. Um, you'll probably be feeling charged up and full of energy and ready to get things done. Your self-confidence, it's increasing and... This should help reach towards any goals that you have in mind. Keep in mind, this night, it comes with some type of message. Someone wants to communicate. Someone wants to reach out to you. And the messages, they are likely positive, And it could be related to work, career, romance, family. Now, you're going to have a lot of reasons to feel pride when you get the Knight of Wands. Uh, the Knight of Wands is interesting because it's paired with the Death card. I don't think I've ever seen these two cards paired together. So let's see what we come up. Let's see what's going on with this situation. Now the Death card, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're creatures. We're creatures with free will, and such things are not written in stone. This card simply indicates transformation and change. So it's a time of deep transformation. Could be both internally and externally. Situations, things, people that you've counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way. This transition, it can be difficult for some people to change nearly always needed though so you could be clinging to something that you're unhappy in with this death card Aquarius um, and you're sticking around or sticking with it because you don't want don't want to let go of the familiar or because you just hate being alone so just know you're not doing yourself a favor if this is the case, okay? So that's what the death card means when it talks about love. Or you could just be going through some type of deep transformation uh, or some type of conclusion, finality. Maybe you don't want to let go of the familiar or let go of an outdated attitude yeah but then there's a knight of wands here so this knight of wands it looks like someone's coming in really fast with the knight of wands they're fearless they're brave they could be aries leo sagittarius very confident person now a lot of it a lot of um uh this well this card is known as the it's a player card, someone very charming. They can have a lot of in and out energy. So, um, let's see what the rest of the reading says so that we can get more clarity on these two cards. Because so that's pretty vague, I know. But at least I got to tell you what the two cards mean. But we'll come back to these. Now, for now, let's take a look at how they see you, the person you're dealing with. They see you as a sun card in the Ace of Cups. Now this sun card, it's about things going really well. Your finances, they're likely to be in really good shape. And this doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important. And, light, and money is probably not high on the list for some of you. I know for me it is. Now, that's what the sun card says. Not high on the list. Like I said, for me it's high on the list money, but some of you it's not. Now, this is a good time to socialize. Meet new people and get out and about, which we know we cannot do that these days. Not unless we're six feet apart. So, I guess you would be doing that online. And if you're looking for a new job, this can signify that it's right around the corner with the sun card. So, basically... Your person, they see you, um, 
as the sun card they see you adding a lot of bright and happy sunny days to their life and it's with this beautiful ace of cups the ace of cups is a powerful card in the material uh, when it comes to love happiness and affection it's about new beginnings and although it usually means love it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life things are looking up People will respond to you with happiness, love, goodwill, more than usually at this time. And you should be feeling really good about life. It's a great time to make friends. Yep. So you see them as very warm. Wow, there's a deep attraction there with this Ace of Cups. Wanting a new beginning. Or a rebounding of a of this connection, or you want it to become a deeper deeper level of understanding or commitment, and you see them like I said as your as the as um your bright and happy days. They add sunshine to your life. Yeah, there's a deep attraction there. That's how you see them. Let's take a look at how, how, um, you know what, I'm sorry, I just, I just realized I got the tags twisted. If I'm not mistaken, I think I said this is how you see them, this is how they see you. Okay, so, sorry about that. It's late here in California, almost midnight. So, alright, so give me, give me, um. What did I say? They see you. This is how they see you, like the sun current and the ace of cups. Okay, I got it right now. All right, so they see you like bright and happy. You add sunshine to their life. Is that what I said before? Maybe I did. And they also see you as the ace of cups. They see you as warm, very warm. You add, there's a lot of deep attraction. And, um,. They see you as wanting a new beginning. Okay, I hope I didn't confuse you on that, but that's okay. We'll recap this whole reading at the ending, so we'll get I'll get it right for you guys. Don't worry about that. Now let's move on over. Take a look at how you see them. Okay, so you see them as three of cups and the eight of pentacles. Now this three of cups is a beautiful card. Mm -hmm. Three of cups is considered a card about reunions. Yeah, reunions. Long lost love may be coming back. Um, reunion in the broadest sense, running back into or meeting up with someone or something that's been away for a long time. It's considered to be a very happy reunion, very upbeat. It can mean celebration, your own or someone that you care about, such as celebrating a new baby, wedding, or some other happy occasion. Now, this Three of Cups... Uh, you see these three people jumping up in the in the in the air. If they're toasting their wine or their champagne in their hand, uh, they're so happy that they don't even realize they're about to land into a lake. But yeah, very happy occasion. Although this card can mean reunion with lost love, um, it could mean someone who really fits the bill. Is coming towards you. So some something, some type of really happy, happy coming together. This is how you see them. You see them. It's possibly a. Are they a past person, Aquarius, that you're dealing with? Someone from the past. You could see them as someone that you used to know who came back, or you could see them as. As um, this connection is very happy, uh, rejoiceful, and it feels like a great friendship. Um, and you see them as wanting to um, celebrate with you. Now it's with the Eight of Pentacles. Now the Eight of Pentacles, it points to necessary efforts. And you have a lot on your plate that you need to... Uh, accomplish 
Yeah, dedication to the task is important. But if you let it work for its own self sake, if you let it work for its own sake, it can be counterproductive. So be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance. No one should work all the time. The Eight of Pentacles can indicate a very hard work period. And this doesn't have to be negative, but you do have to be prepared for it. Okay, so you see them as somebody returning, someone from your past, but it's, and uh, you see them as having a lot of passion for you. They want to master this return. And that they are motivated and inspired with this Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so that's how you see them. Now I got that one right. Now, let's move on over. And let's take a look at why it's happening. Due to the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles is one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the tarot. This can mean that your financial worries, they're over for a while, and that things in general, they'll be going better than you thought possible. Enjoy the good energy, share what you have, because there's always someone who needs it. So, one of the reasons why it's happening, Nine of Pentacles. It's about a relationship moving to new heights of intimacy and joy. I'm sorry about that noise. Uh, yeah, a, new, a relationship rising to new heights of intimacy and joy. Um, yeah. Nine of Pentacles is just short of one pinnacle. You hear the word pinnacles in the tarot? That's money, cash, coins, finance. But we're talking about relationships, so your worries over for a while when you get the Nine of Pentacles. Like I said, the, re the relationship goes to the next level. And it's with the Eight of Cups, which is interesting. Eight of Cups is, yeah, Eight of Cups means somebody's walking away, though, or leaving something behind. Eight of Cups means you choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you. Whether it's a relationship, a job, a neighborhood, there could be some sadness involved, but the separation is in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead for you. If your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, job, or living arrangement, trust yourself. Instead of this coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you, it usually means that you're the one who will make this choice. Just keep in mind that when one door closes, it has to before the next door in front of you can fully open. So, why it's happening, um, Eight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, mm, which is interesting because two contrasting meanings here. Nine of Pentacles, it moves to the new, new heights, new levels. You guys are doing a lot of sharing together. Uh, it could move to the next level. And then the Eight of Cups is saying um, someone's, yeah, walking away. Or you could be deciding that a long-term relationship is going to end. So what we'll do is we'll, We'll, we will recap this reading. I know it's kind of all over the place. And I'm being distracted here because there's a lot of noise outside. So just hang in there with me. So let's recap this. Now we've got the Knight of Wands and the Death card for the present time. The Knight of Wands. Someone's coming in really fast. But it's the Knight of Wands though. They want to sweep you off your feet, but as soon as they do, they're, they're done and they're out. Knight of Wands is an in and out type of person. Uh, they don't stick around for long. Uh, 
Uh, this is known as, like I said, the player card. Somebody's really charming. Um, they're fearless. They're brave. Very self-confident. Yeah. Um, it looks like the death card is there, though. So, uh, you could be deciding that, um, hmm, this needs to, something needs to change about this connection, about this person, uh, in a deep way. Maybe you've had enough of this in and out energy, but they see you as their bright and happy times right you you add sunshine to their life and they see you well, ace of cups they see you you could be wanting a new beginning with them or they see you as a new beginning i'm thinking that it can go either way okay and then you see them as is this a past person that's wanting to come back but as soon as they come back, they leave. They're, like I said, they're in and out. Yeah, so they want to get with you, but they're not really sticking around. It doesn't look that way. So it's with this Eight of Pentacles. You see them as, hmm, they, it looks like they want to put in the effort, though. Yeah, with the Eight of Pentacles, um, you see them as very passionate. Eight of Pentacles is about a lot of passion and motivation. This past person, uh, it looks like they want to master this connection with you. And they could possibly be if a picking up a past person. They want to. They want to master it. They want to. Looks like they want to get it right. And why it's happening? Because the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is that the relationship moves to new heights it moves to the next level things are um, better things are any worries that you had about this connection um, they're over for a while and uh, things will be going better than you thought possible but then we got the eight of cups here it's ending Someone's walking away. The Eight of Cups is about withdrawal, retreat, moving on, abandonment. Hmm. So, let's see. Nine of Pentacles, it's, um, it moves to the next level. Okay. And then... And then the Eight of Cups there, it ends. It's, it's a walk of the way. Okay, so this in and out person, they're causing a problem here. Yeah, a big problem. Because it looks like you're letting them know that they need to change with this death card. They need deep transformation. They need to come out of this, this, this player type energy. They need to step out of the matrix. Take the take the hat off. Take that mask off that they're wearing and step out of this Prince Charming and come down to earth. They need deep transformation because they see you like I said as you could either be wanting them to be there to be your bright and happy days or they see you as that it can go either way. And they see you as wanting a new beginning. And you see them as someone from your past. That they want to put in the effort. They want to do the work to get it right. 
and things are good because you got the nine of pentacles for a while and then it turns back to sour with the eight of cups yeah so you got a lot of a lot of motions going on here it goes from it goes from this player who it looks like you they know that you want them to make a deep change stop this in and out energy and um, they see you in a great way with the sun and the ace of cups and uh, this past person they, they do want to make the effort and it looks like things go good for a while for, for a while but then it ends, and then somebody somebody walks away. It's not working. It's not working, Aquarius. It looks like they wanted to try, though. They wanted to give it their best shot, but it looks like they go back to their their playing ways. They're uh, in and out again because the Eight of Cups is there. Yeah, it looks like you decide to. Give it up. Yeah. Walk away. Because you didn't get the deep transformation that you wanted from them. So, you're walking away. And I do want to add this. With Eight of Cups there, it could be that they're walking away. Players, they easily can do that. Because they just bounce to the next. So they could be walking away, but it, it was it's going to be good, or it was good for a little while. And they did want to put in the work and the effort with the Eight of Pentacles. But it, it's just a temporary work. It's just a temporary fix. Because you or your person with the Eight of Cups there, it didn't. it's not working out. So you walk away, or they're going to walk away. They can go either way. So Aquarius, that's the reading that I have for you. 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 Have for you.